Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Born Excel with my first video and today we're talking about exporting your project from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. The reason you do this process is because DaVinci Resolve is advanced when it comes to color grading. So it happens that maybe you're a Premiere guy, like you don't want to fully switch to DaVinci Resolve, then this video is for you guys. So without wasting much of your time, let's jump into the software. Hello guys, I'm in Premiere Pro right now and this is my project. But before transferring this project to Resolve, let us just watch to see what we have on our timeline. I'll just hit play. So this is the project we will be using to show the whole workflow from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. So before transferring your project to DaVinci, there are a few steps you need to do. The first step is duplicating your project. I will duplicate my project by just hitting File, Save As, then I will give my project a new name, B-Roll Resolve, then I will hit Save. Uh, the reason we had to duplicate our project is because DaVinci Resolve doesn't recognize the effects you apply on your clips in Premiere Pro. So let's say if you had some effects such as Lumetri or Warp Stabilizer, DaVinci won't recognize those effects because these are different program scans. So the first thing you need to do is to duplicate your project. We are doing that because we are going to remove all the effects we had on our clips in Premiere Pro. So the second step is removing the effects on your clips. So I'll simply remove my effects on my clips by simply highlighting all the clips in my timeline. Right click, remove attributes, then as you can see, under the effects there is warp stabilizer. That means I had warp stabilizer applied to some of my clips in this timeline. So I'll remove warp stabilizer here by clicking warp stabilizer then placing OK. After that is done, then Warp Stabilizer has been removed on my project. So, by removing all the effects on your project, then you're good to go to transfer your project from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. Remember, you need to also remove transitions if you had any transitions, because Resolve won't recognize those transitions. These are different software guys. So, after removing all the effects which you had on your on your clips, you're good to go to transfer your project to Resolve. So I will export this project by simply going here, File, Export as Final Cut Pro XML. Remember, Final Cut Pro XML. Then I'll give my project a name Resolve Below. Then I'll hit Save. So after doing this, I'm good to go to transfer my project to Resolve. So yeah, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve guy. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve at the moment, as you can see. So for us to import that project into Resolve, we need to click at the Etest tab, then we we'll go at the Media Pool tab, select Timelines, Import, then you select XML or FE and other formats. We're selecting here because our file was exported in XML. So we'll click here. Then I'm going to select that project, Resolve Below. Then I'm going to hit Open. Then this tab is going to show. Just leave it like that. Then place OK. After doing that, you will see my whole project is in DaVinci Resolve the way it was in Premiere Pro. Uh, as you can see, all the clips are here, and we can even play the timeline just to check if it's the same project. So as you can see, this is the same project which we had in Premiere Pro. So what you need to do now, uh, you can color grade your footage. Then after you're done color grading, you can bring it back to Premiere Pro to put those effects which you removed at the first step. So I'll just do a quick color grading, then I'm going to bring back the project to Premiere Pro. Sure. So I'll select the Hello Shot. Then do the whole color grading thing. So, yeah. I think I'll take this as my hero shot. Oh well, yeah, take this. I'll get back to you when I'm done calibrating. Yeah. Okay. 
so I just finished blending the project in DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, all the clips are color graded now. So yeah, this is the project. So I'll just export this project to Premiere Pro right now by doing these simple steps. You can go at the Deliver tab, then you will select Premiere XML. You have different formats here. So you're going to select Premiere XML. After doing that, then you're going to Blouse. You will select uh, the folder you're going to export this project to. I'll just create a new folder on my desktop. Then I'll say Gladed Below. After doing that, I'm going to select that folder. So after doing that, you're going to select your format here. So as this project was shot in 8-bit, we're going to click 8-bit. Then you're going to choose your quick format here. Uh, quick time and complex uh, takes a lot of space. So it's up to you. So if you have the space, you can do that. So I'm going to leave it in quick time and complex just to get the full quality out of this video. I'll click add to lender queue. Then I'm going to lender my project. So I'm going to get back to you once the lender link is done. So we just finished rendering our project in the engine as well. As you can see, the project has been rendered completely. So uh, we'll go back to Premiere Pro just to add our effects. So yeah, let's get back to Premiere Pro. Hello guys, I'm in Premiere Pro right now and this is my initial project. It's the project which had the effects. So we'll be adding the effects on this project to the gladded project which we just finished exporting in the region now. So we'll import our project by simply going here, file, import then i'm going to select that folder on the desktop it's this folder i'll double click that then this is the project editor's cut i'm going to import that after importing your project you will see the gladded clips in your project tab so i'm going to open the timeline by going to this file titled editor's cut resolve so i'll just search resolve so this is the timeline, editor's cut is off. Then I'll just double click that. After double clicking that, you will see that I have another project with gladded clips right now. So this is the project which was landed in DaVinci Resolve. So we can just play just to check it out. So that's the project. Uh, the only thing remaining here, you can just uh, drop your timeline just below the other timeline, like that. Then you can be checking the effects which you had on your initial project so that you can add them on the grade project. So like here, I had web stabilizer, I'll just, I'll just copy that, then paste on this footage. So that's the workflow. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching, I hope this video was helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, share with your friends and leave me a comment down below. Until we see you next time, peace.